Hey everybody, what's going on? Speedy Diver here, and I'm really excited for tonight's video. I found a freaking kiosk. And not just any kiosk, a razor kiosk. This is freaking insane. I've never ever found a razor kiosk before. I have found Nintendo DS kiosks, uh, Xbox One, uh, which other ones? I think I even found um, pieces to a PS4 kiosk, but I've never ever, even PSP, oh not PSP, PS Vita kiosks, I've actually found pieces to, but I've never ever found one for Razer. Yeah, this is, ah! Sadly, there's nothing attached to it. There's no keyboard. I'm pretty sure what this is, is it's supposed to have a keyboard here, a mouse here, and also a headset hanging right here, because it's a headset stand. Also, it says press to play. But I did look in the back of this already and there's actually nothing in the back. So sadly, don't think that's gonna work. Is this a sticker or like a a magnet? It could very well be like a magnet. That's pretty cool. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, what this is, is this is GameStop dumpster diving. I went to the GameStop dumpster and I found a freaking kiosk. Now, if you guys are not familiar with kiosks, basically what they are is when you walk into a store and there's like a TV usually or uh, things you can try out like headsets, can try, uh, 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 mice or mouses. I guess a mouse would be called, yeah, mouse. A mouse, a keyboard, things like that. Things you can actually try in the store and they're electronic, they're basically called kiosks. Now, what's really cool about finding them is they're super rare to find. This right here, this could be worth anywhere from a hundred to like a thousand dollars. And I'm not even joking. Like the Xbox One kiosk that I found, people sell those for like 600 to like a thousand bucks. I've seen them go for a thousand dollars, the Xbox One ones. So these can be worth some big flipping bucks. Now, sadly, it is missing a bunch of stuff. It's missing obviously a keyboard a mouse things like that so that degrades the value of it but it's still really cool to find it now also there is a bag in tonight's video as well and it's a very strange bag because it's like a bag in a bag yeah it's, it's really weird so that's pretty cool as well but uh oh my gosh i am excited i don't even know what night this is this is gamestop dumb sure diving night 780 Four, I think. I think it's 84, if I'm not mistaken. I think it is. I'm freaking excited I, when I found this thing. I was like, oh my gosh. And it, I don't even think it's in really bad condition because like, it was thrown on boxes. There were boxes underneath this in the dumpster, which was amazing because if this hits a dumpster, like the metal on metal, this thing would have got really dented up and all that. But oh my goodness, it looks like it's in pretty dang good condition. There is a cable back here. This is the one thing that I did notice. There's actually a cable that goes to that little button that I pressed a second ago. And uh, echo, echo, echo. <laughs> and it's really, uh, really dusty back here. That's for sure. Now, uh, I don't know where this would have been in GameStop. I guess it would have been on like a table or something because it's got no base. It's literally just this. So uh, maybe I'll find pieces to it eventually in the future. Who knows? Maybe I'll find like the keyboard tomorrow and the mouse tomorrow. You never ever know with dumpster diving. So freaking cool. Like it is, that's the button by the way. It's a metal little button that would have actually probably had an LED on it. So you can press to try it out. And uh, oh, it's just so cool. Headset would have gone there. Oh, it just looks so cool. It just looks cool because there's actually pictures to show where things are supposed to be. But sadly, those things are not there. <laughs> so it is what it is, but freaking awesome. A kiosk, baby. It's not every day I find one of these. And just to show you how big it really is, I'll stand up for you guys. It's, it's pretty big and it's all metal, by the way. Yeah, this thing, it's all metal. Now, it's not the heaviest thing in the world. I've found way heavier kiosks before, but uh, still, oh my goodness. Sadly, there's no TV with it. Some of these things do actually have monitors and TVs, which I'm thinking maybe a TV would have gone on top of it, so you could try out like the keyboard or a monitor because it's a keyboard or mouse. I'm not too sure, but I am excited. It just looks so cool. And these things, the longer you hold on to them, the more rare and in demand they actually get. So say I hold on to this thing for 10 to like 20 years, which sounds absurd, this thing could be worth some big bucks. You never know. So uh, it's, oh, it's just, it's so cool. It is so cool. <laughs> so freaking awesome. And with that out of the way, it is heavy. I mean, it's, it's full steel, guys. This thing is, it's steel. So it's pretty heavy. It's not like it's aluminum that's super light, but, uh, Oh, this thing is so freaking dope. It is so awesome. The colors on this thing are gorgeous. I love it. Oh, 
<laughs> Maybe I'm getting too excited over it, but if you found this, you'd get excited too. Just knowing what it is and the value of it, that is cool. So let's check out the... Oh, also I have found headset kiosks before that actually had headsets on them. Sadly, this one doesn't have it. It has an actual stand for it though, to put a headset on. So I could actually put my headset on this in game. I could put my headset, nice little stand. It's pretty cool. But uh, let's check out the one and only bag tonight. Let's check it out. Also, I, I'm just, oh, I got so excited about talking about this. I am doing a giveaway right now. So if you want to enter, make sure you guys do because the giveaway is going to be ending very soon. Basically, what you need to do is like the video, comment, be a subscriber. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And you could potentially win an Xbox One, a PS4, or a Nintendo Switch brand spanking new. There's only going to be one lucky winner. So that one lucky winner, congratulations in advance because I don't know who it's going to be yet. It's going to be like 100% random. It's going to be computer generated. So it's all. Oh, 100% legit, and uh, I think this is literally just a bag in a bag. Yeah, it's really random. Uh, yeah, there's nothing in that, but uh, that's how I found it tonight, so that's the way I took it. Let's get into it, guys. Oh, I'm seeing cases. Oh, tonight can't get any better. Oh my gosh. Let's get it. Nintendo DS. Call of Duty World at War. Let's check it out. Ah, oh, Call of Duty. Duty. Duty, duty, duty. You really let me down. Call of Duty. <laughs> Sadly not in there. Just an empty DS case, but still a great DS case. I will keep it. We have NBA 2K9 for the PS3. Oh, no. It is not in there, but the manual is, which is good. It's a good sign. And it double clips as well, so also another great sign. I will keep it. We have another NBA 2K9. Oh, boy. <laughs> Okay, um, hmm. We literally have two of the same case. Interesting. Okay, that's. Okay, wait, what? $11.99, and this one's $1.99. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, it is not in there. Oh, there's no manual. I was just really confused finding two of the same case. That is, that's interesting. And they're both different prices. But, uh, ooh, what is that? What is this? Uh, this looks like you'd put like a cable around it. Oh, it says Razor. I don't know if you guys can read that. Oh my God. It literally, I don't know if you guys can read that. It's really not picking it up on camera. It says Razer. Oh, come on, pick that up. Please, camera, work correctly. Yeah, the camera's really getting weird right now. Pick this up, please. Oh, there we go. Razer, baby. It says Razer. <gasps> it goes to this. This is Razer. Where does it go? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It looks like it holds cables together, probably. So, probably in the back of this, it would go. That is cool. I like how it says Razor. That is awesome. Oh, that is cool. Maybe there's going to be more stuff in here related to this. That would be awesome. We have Watch Dogs for the Xbox One. Oh, it is not in there. And it is also a broken case down here as well, sadly. But there is some pamphlets and whatnot. So pretty cool. A nice, decent case. I mean, sadly, it is broken. But decent case. A double clips. I'll keep it. Bunch of cases. We have, yeah, we got some stuff, guys. What is that? Ooh, this is getting interesting. Okay, first of all, we have a Nintendo DS game, TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, pretty cool. Let's check it out. Oh, not in there. Another DS. I don't know. It's for some reason, I never find the games in the cases. I always find them just chilling in bags. Like, DS games are always just laying in bags. They're never in the cases. <laughs> Usually, that's how it goes. But uh, still, really freaking awesome. Another great case. We got stuff here, guys. What is this? What is this? Ooh, this is interesting. Uh, looks like USB ports. Is this all supposed to be together? I don't think so. No, it's not. We have... This is... Oh, there's an audio jack. Okay. <gasps> I know what this goes to. You Okay, so we got USB ports. That one's a little crushed. Looking weird looking. There's... <gasps> oh, is that a micro SD card? No way, is it? I think it is. No way, there's actually a micro SD card in here. That is nuts. Look at that, there's actually a micro SD card. That is insane. That is so cool. It's only 128, what's that, megabytes? Or, yeah, I think megabytes. That is tiny, but uh, either way, you get it, it's tiny, it's a micro SD card. But uh, 
Guys, oh, it's got a uh, micro USB port right there as well. It's got a lot of ports on this thing. This one sadly is all crazy. I guess it got, might be like, crushed in the bag. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, there's that, which is definitely a, the blue one. Not the blue. The green is an audio jack. That is interesting. But guys, hold on. Check this out. I think I know where this thing goes. Well, I think I know what it, it, this part attaches to. We have this white cable right here. I'm going to try to set the camera down. Will it? Oh, the camera will stay. Okay. I think this plugs into here, if I'm not mistaken. Two hands. Ooh. Let's get it. Does it? Does it? Does it? Am I even putting it in the right way? I don't think so. Um, Does this go? Oh, it would go this way if it does. Oh, it does. Guys. This goes. Oh, I get it. So when you press the power button that this white cable goes to, this gives you the option probably to test out either the keyboard, the mouse, or the headset, which would plug into these three. And obviously the headset would have the audio jack right here as well. That is cool. And all the uh, the demo, the demo is probably on this. The actual demo for the freaking thing. Oh my God. Okay. I'm going to unplug it for now just to keep it out. If I can unplug it, will it unplug? Unplug, please. There we go. I unplugged it. But uh, just so I can put this thing down. It's hurting my, my leg. But uh, yeah, that is so cool. So the demo for the Razer kiosk, guys. This thing right here is probably on that micro SD card. That's insanely cool. What else do we have here? We have um, that. Not sure what that is. That It's got sticky stuff on the back, so it probably stuck there somewhere. Oh, maybe it goes like behind this or something. I don't know. I'm just, I really have no idea. Um... There's this, which looks like it holds a cable in it, some kind of wire. Uh, another one of, yeah, it's all sticky stuff. Another one of those, another one of these. This thing, which is sticky, and it also has a clip at the end. I don't know what that is. What that would go to? I mean, obviously it was with all this stuff. So all this stuff most likely goes to the Razer kiosk, which is freaking awesome. Maybe the headset or the, not the keyboard, the keyboard's too big, but maybe the mouse is in here. Oh, let's get in here. Let's check it out. <laughs> it's just so exciting. I haven't bought a kiosk in so long. It's so like, a, it's like a huge adrenaline rush. Ooh, we have a oh, it's display only, but it's a Red Dead Redemption 2 PS4 sleeve, but it's display only, so I'm not gonna take it. I'm just lucky all this stuff was like stuck together because it's so tiny to find it. Oh, a couple, ooh, $50 GameStop gift card. May have some Mooney on it. $7.33 gift card. May have Mooney on it. You never ever know. Check it out. The gift card. Ooh, what is this? Oh, bottle top. That's basically what that is. I'm not seeing much else. Anything else in the bag here? So I'm gonna throw the bag away. I'm gonna say that's probably it. I'm gonna definitely check that bag though after the video to make sure I didn't miss any small pieces that might go to this kiosk. But I'm gonna quickly recap what was in tonight's video. This thing is heavy. It's a freaking Razer kiosk. So cool, so, so cool. A couple weeks ago, I actually found a Razer mouse box that may have very well went to this. I'm not too sure. I don't think it would, but maybe. Just maybe? I don't know. Let me know if you guys think the same thing. I, I don't know. But freaking awesome because we have pieces to it. We got the little USB hub here. A couple other little pieces that I'm not too sure what they do yet. But I'm definitely going to try to figure out how this thing goes together. I'll look up pictures online if there's any at all. This is freaking awesome. Obviously, missing things. This is where like the cord would go through for the actual keyboard. Cords would go through these for the mouse. Uh, the mouse and actually the headset would go through here. That is freaking crazy. That is, oh, that's so cool. But to recap, a couple gift cards and basically all empty cases. <laughs> but this, this is definitely the coolest find because this alone is like just amazing to find this. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to smack that like button. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite find was. I'm going to say, you guys are probably all going to say this because this thing is awesome. Thank you guys just so, so much for all the incredible support lately as well by liking, commenting, subscribing. I love you guys so much. I can't wait to announce the giveaway winner. Once I get to pick the giveaway winner, it's going to be completely random like I always say and uh, it's going to be happening very, very soon. So I will be leaving the most recent uploaded video right over here. Go check out my Rubber Band Squad merch over here. Subscribe to the Speedy Gamer and the Speedy Diver. Thank you guys for watching. I love making Making these videos and showing you guys what can be saved and found from being thrown away and going basically to a landfill. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the flip side.